Welcome again, everybody, to another video review. I am the Tech Gooch, and uh, this time I'm going to be doing, I guess, another review of a product I had done a review on uh, a couple years ago, but a new refreshed model, and a uh, nice, nice refreshment in my opinion. And that is the Apple Time Capsule. Got my bad boy a couple weeks ago, um, have been using it ever since, and uh, I wanted to, I guess, first go through the easy setup procedure, specifically if you already have an Apple Time Capsule or an Apple Airport Extreme or any Apple router of some kind in order to get your router settings over to the new one. I was amazed at how easy it was. I really was. I actually went to work the following day and was like, holy cow, was that easy. The thing about it was it took me less than five minutes to do the complete setup and have it running exactly how I had it set. In reality, in what I did, it took about 30 seconds. I don't know, a minute. Really, it was just plugging things in, hitting a button, and that was it. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it because I've already taken my previous Apple Time pack capsule back to factory settings, or back to my previous settings I had it at, so I can show you exactly how I did it. Um, but you know what? First, we're going to go ahead and get into the actual product itself. So here we are, and of course, those of you who have watched my previous videos may know, I don't like unboxing, so we're just going to go ahead and go right into it. I'll just set that guy on the floor. So here they are. This is the previous generation Apple Time Capsule. This is a 2 terabyte Time Capsule. This is the current generation. Uh, I actually got a 3 terabyte this round. I don't know if you saw that on the box or not, but this is the 3 terabyte Time Capsule. Now, a couple things substantially smaller footprint, obviously substantially taller height. Um, at, when I first brought it out of the box, I was like, okay, I, 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 let, me, let me back up a little bit. When I first ordered it, I thought, you know, this is going to be kind of funky. And I was thinking it, was gonna, it wasn't going to be quite as big as this one, but I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be bigger than it actually is. And when I ordered it, I was like, hey, you know what, I don't, I don't know if I really like the new form factor as much as the previous one, but I did want to upgrade. I wanted to expand my network. I wanted to use this to expand my network and, of course, have two separate network hard drives for backups and things like that. So I got a really good deal on it. I had to do it. So um, got it. When I got it here in the house, I opened up the box. Well, first when I got the box out of the, I was just amazed at the size of the box. So I was like, okay, this might be better than I thought when I got it out. Yeah, it's definitely more intriguing. You know, I know that they had to go up in height to get the antennas in, and I will tell you, thank God they did, because uh, the one thing about this, this one definitely has a long, a longer range. Now, I know it's an AC router. I do not have any uh, AC devices on my network. They're all N, um, which is what this guy is. But just the putting the antennas upright substantially improved my... Um, my coverage not only in the house but also outside my house so uh, of course it all depends on your network when I add this with my second with my second two terabyte time capsule and my airport express that I have in my in another part of my house those trifecta I mean it's just a bomb proof network now and I don't have any dead zones anywhere near, around my whole house so um, obviously the uh, setup on the back well, I should say this. The This is the status indicator light here. On Same thing on the bottom right-hand corner on the front on this one as well. A lot smaller, as you can see. Of course, the nice Apple logo. You flip it around, and you get the same exact port settings. You have not only the power, you also have the previous, or the, the WAN port, the USB, and then the three local area network ports. Exact same settings as you did previously. Uh, looks like they had a lock section there. I don't see that located anywhere on the new one. So that, I guess, is one piece that is missing. Um, but stacked versus uh, horizontal. So uh, I don't know if you have a preference over one or the other. But that is one of the main key differentiators between the two. Uh, but the footprint is just substantially smaller, so it takes up so much less space on my desk. My previous one I kind of had in a, in a funky, awkward state because it, while I wanted to put it on top of my desk, because it was so big, it would be sticking out because of the cables that would come out 
would push it off the shelf, so I had to put it on the second shelf down. This one, however, because it is substantially smaller, I can get it on the, the top shelf of my, of my desk, uh, which obviously gets the antennas up even more, which could be a, another benefit to why I get the range that I do. Um, but I do think that this one definitely has better range, better power, um, and of course uh, is definitely nice and speedy. So um, I never said anything bad about this. I still do not have anything bad to say about my 2 terabyte. I'm glad I still have it, and I'm glad I'm using it to extend my current 3 terabytes. So uh, with that said, that is a quick overview of what it is. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole operation of how to set this up from scratch. If you want to see the, air, the uh, my setup, of you can basically go back to my video for my two terabyte model, and which I go through the entire setup through the airport utility, which obviously is available for Macs and PCs. So you could set it up with either or. Um, but I am going to show you on my laptop here how you get these two to show up and connect properly. So. Um, this has all my settings on it as I previously had it. This is completely fresh, re factory restored. I'm going to show you exactly a real quick, easy way to do it, uh, and, uh, and then I'll talk you through it. So let's head over to my desk, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this the best I can with the little room I have here on my nice little shelf, but you can see um, basically with all the cords on the 2 terabyte model, I was kind of pushing this out, so basically I put this on the secondary shelf. But with this guy, which is very much... I mean, it looks really good with my nice Motorola cable modem here. This is exactly what it is. So I unplugged everything out of my 2TB. Let's uh, go with that. So what I'm going to do is I have the power cable. I have, this is the um, cable coming directly off of my uh, cable modem. So I'm going to put plug that into the, the wand port or the, the lower port here. And of course, I'm probably mispronouncing shit. So uh, I also have connections from my network which is going to my computer and to my uh, switch which is going to all my other devices uh, and then I have this little short guy which I'm actually going to plug into the last one here the top one which is only going to be plugged into my two terabyte um, specifically to obviously port the settings over so I have this guy up here what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and power this one up while I'm waiting so that one can start powering up and now I have the connection which is just obviously just a cord going from the back of that guy I'm gonna plug that into uh, basically I'm just gonna plug it into any of these so just the, the last one so it's the closest one here and then I have the power cable sitting out here in front on this one so I'm gonna just go ahead and power him up so uh, obviously now I have the three terabyte model hooked up exactly how I should have it hooked up and then I just had my two terabyte which has all my settings just ran in there as a secondary, I guess, switch, so I could just plug in here and just obviously use things. And then we're going to go from here and I'll show you the setup within the uh, the airport utility. Okay, so I'm connected to my network. If we want to go over to open up my airport utility, it's going to show you that I'm connected to the 2 terabyte, but it's not, it doesn't have an internet connection, obviously, because I don't have internet going to it yet. But if I go up to my uh, Wi-Fi connections, it'll actually populate and find a new time capsule under the new airport base station. I'm going to go ahead and select that and it's going to obviously automatically pop up in here and it's going to find out information about the the time capsule and what give me options of what I want to do. So right now it's asking me if I want to set up to replace the two terabyte time capsule which is what I'm going to do but I'm going to go ahead and other options to show you what else you can do. You can also create a new network if you want to create a second network add to the existing network. If I just wanted to expand my current network or obviously replace that's what I'm working on doing right now. Uh, so I'm going to replace the airport base station under my current Wi-Fi network. So now it's looking for base stations like it already did, but it's going to basically come up with the exact same option it came up with. Uh, and I'm just going to leave it the same. Uh, you know what? I'm going to you can you can name this what whichever you like, but I'm going to go ahead and just set it up. Uh, I'm not going to send any diagnostics. You can do that if you'd like. It's going to come up looking for all the information here and it's going to also probably ask me for my password so it asks, it's going to you know take basically skim all the information off my existing uh, router and put it onto my new one so it's going to go ahead and go through its setup here and uh, when it's done I'll come back to you so just a mid update it's only been a couple seconds it's unconnected so it's already probably reset my current one back to to uh, to defaults and it's already probably 
ported all the information over to the new one, and now I'm just waiting for them to restart. So it literally has been under one minute. Uh, setup is complete. Uh, airport time capsule has now replaced Schuster 2 terabyte to so my 2 terabyte model. If I hit done here, it should automatically figure itself out. Internet, Schuster 3 terabyte, and now my other ones down here, obviously with a little asterisk because it's probably, it's not, hasn't been set up yet to do anything, but these are just other ones on my network. Now what I can do is I can actually, uh, if I go now under my Wi-Fi settings again, the new time capsule, which is actually my 2 terabyte time capsule, I'm going to go ahead and select that one right now. If I select that one, it's bringing up information. It's looking at what's the best thing to do with this thing. It's going to probably ask me, would you like to be to uh, set up this time capsule to extend Schuster 3 terabyte, which is exactly what I'd love to do. However, I'm going to actually name this to TB, just exactly like I had it. I apologize for my daughter in the background. And now it's actually going to change all the factory default settings that I had on this guy and put it back to naming it when I had it and set up to expend my current Wi-Fi network. Again, this is maybe 20 seconds in and setup is complete. So now if I hit done, it should automatically reread. Now you see this user 3 TB. 2 TB is also connected, green, nice and ready to go. 2 user 3 TB and everything should be a green go. The only thing that's now giving me a blinking light on is because it's trying to find this guy, which I had it connected. I unconnected that, unplugged that from my network, so this could not give me any problems when I was doing the information transfer. I don't want, I didn't want this guy to give me problems. Now, obviously, you may not have any problems, but if you did, if you have multiple routers for extensions, unplug the extensions. That way, they can all be set up properly. So, um, that's basically it. Now, uh, everything should be good and golden to go. So there you have it, the new airport time capsule. Uh, from Apple. And uh, I really like it. That's the quick setup. Obviously, you can tell it's pretty dang easy no matter what you wanted to do with it. Now, one thing, uh, when I was actually hooking it up, when I was showing you how I hooked it up, you do not have to run that cable between the two. You can run it Wi Fi. And uh, just, you could even take your device and just place it on your table, plug power into it, connect to it, and then connect to the other one, and then just it'll transfer settings wirelessly. Uh, I guess I'm just a old school Ethernet guy. Uh, However, when you do set up the your old time capsule to extend your current network, if you do not have them hardwired together, it will it will extend it or uh, extend your network with via Wi-Fi. If you want to extend it via via a hardwire connection and then just not be just a repeater, but actually uh, do a hardwire extension, make sure it's plugged into Ethernet when you actually do set up the second one after it uh, um, set goes back to factory defaults. One last thing, like I don't like unboxing. Uh, however, as most things, Apple's boxing is always quite awesome. And obviously when you do this for the first time, the airport's heavy enough where you can just lift it up and it just slowly seeps its way down. And of course they give you the nice standard covers, you know, a nice sticker basically wrapping the entire device so it's not scratched at all by the time you get it. Um, quite a nice thing box actually. They're always nice. They're never bad. Um, so yeah, that's it. Like I said, I truly love it. I'm glad I did it. There's no doubt in my mind I'm glad I did it. Do I need the time capsule? No. The Airport Extreme would be just fine and then just using your, your own hard drive would be a good option for you as well. However, the nice thing about this is that I don't have to plug in anything else to my time capsule. I, it's it's all built in. So in the three terabyte hard drive is a server grade hard drive, so it's it should have a longer life expectancy. I'm not going to guarantee that at all. Um, but from my experience, my last time capsule, I truly do love that, uh, and this one I do love as well. I also have a, an Ethernet or a networked hard drive from Seagate. Don't so much like that. It's not near as fast actually as my time capsule, which is kind of weird. But that said, truly, truly love this. Uh, Thanks again for watching the video, uh, and if you have any questions or comments, that's what you can post below. Also, you can message me directly through YouTube, uh, and if you had any questions about me myself, this is not a sunburn. This is a nice, hot burn from my hard hat at work. Uh, thankfully, I wear a lot of sunscreen, but rubbed on me pretty good from all the sweating today. So, But yes, thanks for watching. Please subscribe above, comment below if you have anything else you need, or if you have any recommendations for future videos, I am all ears. 
Uh, I do have several coming up, several more that I've been dying to get to. I just haven't had a whole lot of time with a lot of stuff at work. So uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, here at the end of the video, I'm going to try to give you a link at least to my existing 2 terabyte review where you can actually see more of the setup, the hands-on setup and going through the entire airport utility. So thanks again for watching. Till next time, Tech Gooch, out.